Welcome to the Quick Train Modeler video tutorial for finding and managing data. Prior to this video, you need to understand the difference between 3D data, such as LAST files and DEMS, and 2D data, such as GeoTIFFs and Mr. SID files. This is one of a series of videos on this topic. This video will cover searching for data based on a coordinate, accelerating your searches by creating a cache file, creating a visual coverage map with indexing, and organizing and managing your data. To find data and imagery, begin by clicking on the binoculars button. Select a directory to search. Click OK. Choose a radius around that coordinate, your search coordinate, that you wish to search. Then input your coordinate, uh, in this case northing and easting, in UTM zone 15 north. That's the center point of your search. Click Find Models, display a list of the models that are Match that match that search, click load models, and in this case a point cloud will be loaded. To perform an imagery search, simply click the radio button for image search, click find images, select a matching image, and load that image. A complementary tool to the Find tool is the Indexing tool. Indexing will give you an intuitive and visual coverage map of your geospatial holdings, whether they be 3D files such as LAS or DEMS, 2D files such as GeoTIFFs or Mr. SIDS, or vectors such as shapefiles or KMZs. The Indexing tool can be found in the Export menu select create file index select the folder to index click OK name the file that you're creating in this case a KMZ file called Iowa index if you would like a shape file click the create vector file index button in this case we'll name it Iowa shape index it's the same index just in shapefile format Choose Generate Search Cache to accelerate your searches in the future. Choose whether to organize by directory or by file type. Organizing by directory is the most common way. Choose rec Recursive Subfolders to make sure that Qt Modeler indexes in all the subdirectories. Click Go. Qt Modeler will index all of your files and pull up Google Earth. In Google Earth, you'll be able to see a visual coverage representation of all your files. You can then expand the layer tree in Google Earth. You can zoom in and check out your coverage. You can also click on the markers in Google Earth and get file information of each and every file. If you already have data loaded in Quick Train Modeler, there's an easier way to search for related data and imagery. Simply move your cursor anywhere in the scene and type F on the keyboard for find. After typing F, the, the search interface will appear with the pre-populated coordinate that was under your cursor when you typed F. So now either select directory or cache. We have a cache now that we just created when we did our index. Simply move to the desktop, choose your cache file, and click Find Models. This will be a very accelerated search, especially when searching through large amounts of data. Simply load the DEM that was found and add that to the scene. Thanks for watching this video. Please contact Applied Imagery if you have any questions or need additional information.